Hello guys, my name is Khan and actually in this video I will show you guys that how you can uh, label uh, variables and va and how you can uh, label uh, values in Stata. So I am starting with again with auto.dtf file. So I will just double click it and Stata will open it. So just like that uh, I as I always recommend to make a do file or code file so whatever you do in Stata so I will go here and I will make my new do file I will command do file related to labeling in Stata so this is uh, going to be our do file for today so I have to save it. So I will save it. I'm going to save it. Let it do here. So just save it here. So now we will start with the labeling. So I will go back. So so before labeling, I will or uh, initiate. I will tell you guys about renaming command. So suppose. Uh, you have a variable make but suppose if you want to rename it maybe you want to make it more uh, explicit that what this variable is doing instead of going to label you want to also make it more easy to understand so you just say re uh, rename or just re ren uh, before going I think it's better to go into help rename so if you go to the help of rename command so if you just write ren or you write down the whole rename function the stata will understand so whatever you think is better so now i will just write down re ren and i want to say make as so this is the actual uh, existing name of the variable and i want to give a new name so suppose I want to give the car underscore make so I'm going to tell you that this is car make as I told you guys before that we can't we cannot use uh, spaces between here so it's uh, so therefore I use underscore to make it more readable so I press enter now if you can see here this name is now renamed as car name so I will come to my command window and we'll just press page up my last command will appear or, or you can go directly here in the review window you can select it control c go back to uh, my do file uh, right down here I, mean, I forgot to bring this thing here so my the, the, from where i'm uploading the data so control c control v saying clear here so that whenever we run this do file uh, this clear command will first clear the data and then upload this auto.dta so this is one of the way you can rename the make uh, rename the variables by using this command or I can more understand use it uh, and now I will show you guys that uh, how you can label uh, change these labels suppose price so suppose if I want to write that this price is car price so what I will do I will come here and I will say label and and this is a variable la label so I will say label VAR which is very for variable and what's and the very actual variable which is the price and I want to rename it as car price so I will say inverted commas and in that inverted comma I will write down car space price as I told as I mentioned that we can use spaces in labels or variables so that's why I can use and that's why I'm using inverted commas so that the stata will understand from where the label is starting and the where the label is ending so I will say enter now if you see here now we have the label of price is car price so again I will copy this command 
and we'll write down back to my to file and save it and before going further i will uh, it's better to also go to help of label so in help of label i will show you guys help it's a label so we have data labels very vari label variables uh, which we currently use we have different kinds of lab uh, label and we have label values the next thing i will show you guys about label defined and label values. actually label defined is used to label values so in 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 order to end label anything you have to define it so this is something related to data and this is part is related to renaming the variable and this part is related to if you want to label your data as something uh, this thing is the first part is rarely used but most of the time you usually use these three commands so we close this help window so now before going to uh, give, tell you guys about uh, uh, labeling values i will mm, sh tell you guys that how you can use uh, if command in the stata use of if command in stata so so if i go to browse so we have these prices and i want to create a uh, suppose if i want to create two categories in which i want to tell that uh, the prices which are above 5000 are high price and the th prices which are below 5000 are low price so how i can do that so for that i will create for a variable first so suppose i gen is for generate and then suppose i want to create a price cat variable and then i say equal to because i have to give it some value and this price cat will be one or two so it means that it will be containing two categories I will keep I will make those categories I will I will label those value categories as one or two so suppose but those one or two will be integers so this variable should be a integer so I will press uh, in the start I will start with a missing values in that variable and after that I will put uh, different values in this price cat by using the if function so I will say uh, dot so if i press dot and if i go back here and if i click this variable you can see the stata have given it a float float means it's a numeric variable so by giving equal to dot means that stata will consider it as a, in, a numeric variable suppose if i make an other variable uh, suppose if i do this uh, you can also drop the variable by using just writing a draw and again price cat so but suppose if you just an example it's not relevant here but suppose if you want to create this price cat as a string variable what you will do uh, and before going to this thing i will show you the i will browse the data and i will show you that what stat i have done So I will browse it. So so this is the uh, uh, the stata have created price cat and the dot means that there is no data. Uh, this this is missing data. Uh, and then I drop this price cat. And now suppose if I create generate price cat, I want to create it as a string. So what I will do uh, price underscore cat is equal to then inverted commas without anything in it so stata now if you come here this variable price cat which stata have created a string the type is string that is means that it's it will it can contains alphabets in it and if you browse it you can see that there is nothing here now so so this is uh, how you can uh, tell stata that you want it to that variable to be numeric or uh, a string variable 
but we need it as a string uh, sorry numeric so i'm going to draw price cat variable and i will create it as a numeric page out and i'll go back to my stata uh, uh, do file and now i will instead of again going here and writing command again and again i will uh, write my code now here so i'm saying so suppose if now you want to give this price cat is equal to one if the prices are less than five thousand or less than equal to five thousand so what i will do uh if oh, sorry replace price cat is equal to one if if price price variable is less than equal to 5000 so so, so i selected so i have selected this line and then i control d to execute it and as you can see that stata have made 37 real changes so if i press browse now and you can see in the price cat variables we have one as you can see the price is below 5000 prices below 5000 prices above 5000 so there is no change for that again we have price above for 5000 and there is no change for that uh, wherever we have price cat is equal to one it means the price is less than 5000 so this is a quick check that uh, are we doing it okay or not I will show another thing here so so suppose if you want to run that uh, suppose control C so suppose if you also want to replace it price cat is equal to 1 uh, for when the price is equal to uh, 5000 so in that case if you are using if command you have to use double equal sign actually it's just the repeat the above line is already doing equality but I'm in just order to explain that if you have to use equal sign in if command, then you have to write double equal sign. And on the left side, after before if command, you have to use uh, the equal sign only once. So both actually this command, this line number 16 is redundant because we have already done equality or have already added the equality in the above. But stata will not give an uh, error for this if i execute it probably there will be no real changes made because stata have already made the change in the above line so i have control d as you can see that uh, stata have done zero real changes made and after that i will say it was just to explain you so i can just delete this line now if i will copy this line again come here I will say replace price cat is equal to do if the uh, price is greater than 5000. Control D. So, stata have done again 37 real chains made. So, I will browse it again in order to see now how things looks like. So, we can see we have price cat 1122 two, again 221. Two, so if I go to 2 here, it should be above 6000. So it means that our code is running properly. So now I will, so now is the time that I will define a label for these categories that I have defined. So that whenever I will go into my data, browse it, I will see just like foreign or domestic, I will be able to see price below 5000 or price above 5000. So I will say label define, then uh, I will, you can give a random name to spoil, can write anything. So I will say price label. So you can write anything, it doesn't matter here, but be careful that there shouldn't be any space. 
and then I am going to say that uh, define one should be labeled as inverted commas uh, below 5000 and two will be labeled as above 5000. So here I am defining the label. After that, so once I have defined the label, now I have to tell the stata that which variable you want to define, which variable you want to label. So let's say label values, then a variable name, which is price cat. I will say price cat here, and then which label you want to put over price cat, which is price label. If I run this control S control D, so I have this uh, stat I haven't given any error. It means uh, we can go into browse window and see how you can do it. So now you can see it's below we have label, but if you come here, you can see that it's one actually behind it, just a label above. So and we have above below five thousand. So it means everything is working fine. So I will, and, and again, one thing I like to add to tell you guys that why it's important to label variables or label value, especially if there's a categorical uh, function, a categorical variables. It's important to label because especially once you, in future videos when I will be uh, reporting the results and or making graphs, so these labels will be appear in those graphs or in those tables instead of these variable names. So, and these variable names are more properly defined, have spaces in it. So if there is will be no label, uh, then uh, Stata will, be sh will show us these actual variable names, which will not look uh, presentable in results like tables or uh, in our graphs. So, so this is the short video uh, which was about uh, renaming the uh, variables, labeling the variables, uh, and then labeling the values. Thank you for watching this video.